Nothing instills confidence in international leaders more than their love of precise language. We have intelligence from multiple sources, including our allies and our own intelligence. The evidence indicates that the plane was shot down by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. Uh, it was flying in a pretty rough neighborhood, and somebody could have made a mistake. Uh, some people say it was mechanical. I personally don't think that's uh, even a question. There is now a body of information that the flight was shot down by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. This may well have been unintentional. We are working closely with Canada and our international partners, and there now needs to be a full, transparent investigation. Unspecific intelligence, unnamed allies, multiple mysterious sources. Hardly the rhetoric one expects, A, at that level of diplomacy, and B, when discussing a tragedy that's left 176 dead. It's unsurprising, then, that Iran has batted off this latest slew of unfounded allegations about the crash of Ukrainian Airlines Flight 752 and urged for calm and logic to prevail. Scientifically, it is impossible that a missile hit the Ukrainian plane, and such rumours are illogical. And it's not an unreasonable request. The investigation into the events of Wednesday morning, which saw the Boeing 737 bound for Kiev crash just minutes after takeoff, has only just begun. Final reports into aviation disasters take months, if not years, to be published. They require coordination between numerous governments and organizations, which is why Iran has invited multiple investigators, including from Boeing, to visit the crash site. In the meantime, all there is are, are theories with nothing but unnamed sources to back it all up. Which is why, amid all the confusion and contradictions, the Ukrainian president, who lost 11 of his citizens that morning as they returned home, also called for an end to all the chatter and noise. I'm asking everyone to refrain from speculation, conspiracy theories, hasty conclusions and unverified versions. It's not a topic for hype. But the spiralling tensions between Tehran and Washington, especially in the past week, have triggered an unprecedented level of scrutiny on the region. And people don't seem willing to heed calls for calm, especially when they feel the tide might be turning in a favoured direction. A rocket strike, possibly a tall missile system, is among the main working theories since there is information on the Internet about elements of the Russian missile being found near the site of the crash. It didn't take long for the mainstream media to jump on that bandwagon. CNN, who's never been one to turn down an unverified source, especially when Russia's involved, pointed the finger at a bomb or missile. New evidence indicates Iran shot down Ukrainian Flight 752 with two surface-to-air missiles made by Russia. And the undeniable evidence they offered? A photo from Twitter, posted on an account that was later suspended. Maybe it breached the company's fake news guidelines. But nonetheless, even all the way across the pond, the hysteria continued. Well, the first one is the possibility uh, that that plane was hit uh, by a Russian missile just after takeoff. Independent also published an article citing something called the OPS Group, an independent organization which has little to recommend itself other than it provides information for aviation professionals and foxes, that's according to its Twitter page. Nevertheless, it felt confident enough to recommend people just assume the plane was shot down until evidence to the contrary emerges. Guilty until proven innocent. It's the new name of the game in today's political landscape.